Okay, this is Arctic Alive, as you can see. It's a survival horror game, I guess, in the board category. Uh, I'm going to start a new game. Already you can see there's um, some slight issues there. None of the text lines up with the buttons. But uh, it's uh, well. I mean, the price of the game is two pounds seventy nine, I believe, which you know is essentially the price of a latte. So I'm willing to cut it some slack on some interface weirdness. Uh, I actually quite like the art style. It's a kind of I don't know. It actually makes me think of Wallace and Gromit, which is a bit weird. I suppose it's not, it's not, you know. That's uh, E, no, F. F to pick things up. There we go. So I've picked some things up. I've got an inventory, there it is. Uh, and E was what I pressed earlier. Now you can see I've got some uh, food, but I'm not currently hungry, I'm not cold, my clothes are clean, cleanliness of body, right, toilet I don't need, I've not got much hunger, if I eat a chicken egg the hunger will, that will fill up obviously, thirst is this aeration, that's actually water, so it's, it's a Russian game I think. Uh, it seems like he has done the translation himself or perhaps he used um, Google Translate so there is some quirky uh, quirky language usage so you see we've started off the story here we've started off uh, in a prison of sorts that we escape through the uh, through the cunning ploy of climbing over the rail so if we look around, we're here in, in some sort of office area. Tomato seeds. Package with ground. Uh, which I think is actually bag of earth. And some more seeds and stuff over here. There we go, seeds of carrot. Tomato seeds. Now, page with a diary. So, like like many of these uh, weird games, they seem to uh, seem to have uh, diary pages lying around all over the place. So, the transmitter is repaired. The artifacts collected. Uh, I presume, you know, well, artifacts are spelt weirdly, but never mind. Cold artifacts detected in cool or poor lit areas, hot artifacts detected in warm and well lit places. A working process type detect artifacts made according to instructions received from the invitation to confirm its origin. So I'm not sure exactly what it means. She's studying it very carefully, as you can see. Uh, I'm also not sure how you can put the page down, other than pick up something else. Let's go in here and see if there's anything else to pick up. And a watering can, yeah we can get that. All of this will be uh, useful in a minute. So the diary pages are, are, are clearly the, the story, so to speak. So uh, let's just get my inventory up. Uh, I've got a key card, so I'm going to assign that, right click to assign the key card to a hot key 4. Now, earth, no. Oopsie, I'm losing control. Uh, 
package with ground. There we go, right. So you, fight, you get in front of the pots. So this is a common pattern with this game, is you first of all need to be in range, which obviously you can't see when you've got the page up. So where it says empty box, and then after I've said empty, it says empty box, I can click on the thing in the inventory, and that does an action. There we go. So now let's uh, put seeds of carrot in there. Carrot seeds to you and me. And we'll go and put tomato in the other one. Box with the ground. Like I said, I think it's uh, translated by Google. So we've managed all that. Let's get rid of the inventory. So now, come here, and there's a water tap. Let's get the inventory again. Use the watering can with the water tap. System is insufficient water. So basically, I think we've run out of water, is, is what that means. I'm, uh, I'm interpreting so you see it's, it's still quite dull so far I know I did say it was survival horror but we'll get to that in a minute let's just water my tomatoes there we go Oh, I missed the middle one. Let's try the middle one. Okay. So we're set up now with a... Uh, I, I should mention, there is instructions, but I've read it before. Book Gardener, or gardening book to you and me. Pour the ground in the pot, bury the seeds of the carrots, watering once a day, harvest in two days. So the documentation is very much uh, a find it to yourself. Right, that's locked on the back side. And you need to you need to interpret the uh, the English at times to figure out what it means. But there we go. We have we have fulfilled the tasks in this area, I think. Let us head on back through the other door and we find another diary page. Is there anything else around here? There's a compass, that's the other thing we've got around here. Let's get the compass and put it, right click, in a hot key position. Alright. That's interesting. I can't get the compass to come up today. Not that it's that good. We'll try our key card. No, key card doesn't work. So let's read the note. Held the first experience of transformation. Subject number one has changed. Convert aggressive. Attack the first officer. Second mate has been transformed to hit with a sharp object in the occipital region. He became liquid and ratiesque on the floor. I'm not sure what that means. This fluid degrades the health of all who are near. So what we're saying is, there's puddles on the floor you shouldn't walk in. This is what you need to interpret. Now we're going to walk in here, and this is where the first bad guy is. So I failed to do anything with the bad guy at this point, but I've determined what you should do is let the bad guy come and then stay completely still. So I'm going to try that. Is he coming? Here he comes.
So the trick is not to move when bad guy is looking at you. I'm not sure at the minute if he's if he's looking at us. But there we go. That was a scary bit. Now the syringes and stuff on here. Obviously we can't see them at the minute because of how we've got a diary page in our hands. Let's read page diary 3. Transformed in a few hours to recover from the liquid state, he recognises only when we move. So this is the instruction for how to defeat the guy that we've just passed, which again is a bit, it's a bit odd. You know, we're here, and he's already broken our neck a few times, which I'll show you in a minute. No need to move when he looks. When turn away you can move, but if you hear the sound, then attacked. While it turned out several times led to liquid state, and each time it was restored. So I'm not exactly sure what all of that means. But let's just pick everything up. And here we've got a torch, which is nice. At least we get to put the diary page down. And we get to see the uh, text when we're focused on things again. So, antidepressant. Now, I've never survived that this long. Oh. But, alright, thirst. So let's drink some water. And our thirst goes up. Let's drink, eat a roasted leg. We do need the toilet. Pulse. Fatigue. Psyche. Right. So, I think... If we take the medicine, no, they take the antidepressant. There we go, our psyche recovers. So that's that's what they're for. More medicine here. Uh, aeration, or as we know it, water. Hardening of the body to improve immunity, helpful hypothermia. At night, the temperature is lower than during the day, which, you know, could be interesting. That's locked. Let's check this door. Locked on the back side. So you see, I think what's going on now is that uh, there's been some experiments. You're in some base. We don't know why you were held prisoner. Ooh. That's telling us about the uh, telling us about how to use the medicine and stuff. So anyway, that's that's uh, the game is an exploration and discovery game with some survival elements. Now we're gonna try and survive this bloke. Here he comes. Not looking at us now. Still not looking at us. Oops. So I think we can possibly stop when you hear the noise. Turning in random directions. Is he going to turn around and look at us again? I don't know. He's looking at us now. He's looking right at us. He's looking at us a lot. Ah, and we're dead. Because the toilet door is locked. That's what happens when you die, and uh, you get thrown back to uh, 
So here we are back at page Dory 1, so that whole clearing out of that room is lost to us. Now, I'll admit it's, it's a little bit scary. The, the, the sort of faceless dark dudes with red eyes are very economical, uh, but, but do the job. And uh, like I said, for a game for £2.79, I'm willing to forgive quite a lot of stuff. I'm actually I'm quite intrigued by the whole thing. I, uh, let's, here he comes. There we go. We made it into the room again. I'm not going to do all that crap again. I'm just going to wrap it up there. I mean, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Certainly, uh, you, you're going to have to put up with some uh, weirdness and uh, deal with the um, uh, weird translations. Um, there are also some things like you can't do any actions, like uh, downstairs you discover a sweater and, uh, and then you freeze to death. Because it turns out, in order to, to wear the sweater, you have to find a dressing closet, which I've not found yet. I don't know where that is. I think I probably will find out at some point in the future. I'm, you know, I'm intrigued enough to carry on with it. It's uh, it's an interesting, interesting game, but a flawed game. So uh, hopefully you've seen enough in this video to understand whether you'd be interested in it or not um, check it out if you are uh, it's native on Linux and can be had, as I said, for the price of a latte 